Yeah, what's up? Hello. Hello, welcome to this. Photoshop, I believe. That's what we're jumping into today. So I'm going to teach you how to make this. Of course, it's May the 3rd. Um, tomorrow is May the 4th. Uh, if you know, you know. Um, difficulty level, I don't know. But, but Paddy, how can you not know the difficulty level? It'll make sense, I promise. I'll show you later. First thing you're going to want to do with any photo editing is, of course, uh, get some music on. I like to go with uh, Mr. Gregory Porter myself. <laughs> of course, Celine Dion, also, uh, also applicable. <laughs> Once you've got your music on, jump into uh, Microsoft Paint. What you're going to want to do is choose the photo that you want to ghostify. Cool, so here we go. Here's these cuties. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that a lovely picture? So, uh, here we have uh, a bit of kissing getting done. Mm. Uh, I don't know who these people are. If you see this, <laughs> feel free to sue me. Yeah, this was a photo taken at a festival. Uh, and we're going to turn them into one nice mash together. Force ghost. Yeah. Okay, there we go. First thing you want to do, click on your layer in the right. This is the, the photo of the, 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 the lovely kissing people. Command J. So that's going to give us a little copy of this first layer. Next thing's next, get rid of the bottom layer. Are you clicking on that little eye thing here? And now what we're going to want to do here is chop these lovely kids out of the image. We're going to make them disappear. So how you do that is you take your index finger, hit the L on the keyboard. That's going to bring up your lasso tool. The lasso tool is a free-formed line that uses a series of clicks where you dictate where the line goes. Join it up at the end, and you're going to have these little uh, march and ants around. Right click, come down to fill, and you're going to hit content aware and hit OK. The computer's going to do some voodoo magic. Wow. Holy shit. Look at that. That's pretty impressive. To be honest, for the effect we're going to be going for, this is probably perfect. However, you know, we could tidy it up a bit. Got a bit of an overlap here. Um, yeah, so let's fix that. Still on this top layer. Index finger S. This is going to bring up your clone stamp tool. The clone stamp tool sort of does what it says. It's like a stamp, and it clones bits from the image. Hold Alt or Option, uh, and you're going to click the area that you want to copy and paste uh, in order to clean up. So I'm going to click here. That's going to make that white. Do you, do you understand? Do you understand? Make sure opacity is to 100%, and then you can just start brushing. So uh, I've actually done uh, a hash of a job, but again, it's not overly important what we do here. So, so we've now got an empty background, and we've got our lovely couple below. We're just going to bring the version of the couple knocked out below our original layer. So above we've got the couple, below we've got no couple. So the next thing, we're going to want to isolate the couple as a layer themselves. So, index finger, W. This is going to bring up our quick selection tool, which is great fun. Click on them, drag it about. Again, it doesn't need to be the most amazing uh, selection. If you go over, as I have done here, again, hold Alt, which is going to bring up a minus tool, and then we're going to minus away what we don't want to select. Is that done, that done. Get the bottom of her lovely cream-coloured Doc Martens. Uh, he's got the arm round uh, the buttocks. We're going to select that. Up here, into the action zone. Where all the uh, sacrilegious stuff's going on. Bit of overlap there. Tied it up. She's got the iPhone in hand. Very good. A nice, lovely moment. Two most important things in her life. In her hands. Once we've got this. Again, doesn't need to be too detailed. We're going to chop them out and make them their own little thing. With your lovely hands. Command. And J. What this is going to do is duplicate. Get rid of whatever that was. This is going to duplicate our selection and turn it into its own little layer. So we turn everything off, and look at this. We've got our lovely little kids kissing. We can now actually get rid of uh, the middle layer. So just drag her or him to the bin. So we now have our couple here. We've got them isolated. And we've got our background totally clean slated so that we can see what's behind them. Mouse down to the bottom right. Click Layer Mask. Yeah. We're now going to invert this layer mask. Command with the left finger, I with the right finger. Bang. Bah! So what that's done is totally blackened the layer mask and made it invisible. What we're now going to do is paint them back in. 
Index finger, B for brush. Make sure your brush tool is selected to white. Make the opacity around uh, 20%. I've gone for 23. And just start painting them back in. Now, the good thing about doing this is we can sort of select what we make more or what we make less. So I'm going to paint their faces in a touch more. I'm going to take my index finger, press the letter X, which is going to switch the color to black. And we're going to paint out a few more pieces uh, around here. You can maybe paint the edges out a bit more. So going around, going around the edges of the legs, the back, uh, the sides of the head, and clicking a bit more. Again, we're going to switch back to white. Paint the faces in a bit more just so... There's a bit more detail in the faces. Now, we have these two sort of slightly ghostly characters. Uh, you can see behind them. Yeah, looking good. Final touches, we're going to go Hue Saturation. We're going to hold Alt, and we're going to click in between the two layers. You're going to see a little a little uh, arrow and, 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 and square is going to pop up here. So that is going to attach this layer to the bottom layer. It's only going to affect the uh, the layer below it. Now, just going to start messing around with the hue. So this is going to give us the blue color we're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. So that looks kind of good. Bring the saturation down a bit. Bring the lightness uh, down a touch as well. But Paddy doesn't really, you know, look like a force ghost. You know, we've, we've, so yeah, they're blue and they're sort of see-through, but you know, it's just a bit weird. Well, this is where the final touch, the real magic happens. Come back down to our layer. Now, do not, under any circumstances, click on our layer mask, which is this little black box here. We want to click on the actual kids. Come down to this little FX panel, which is, of course, stands for Effects. Outer Glow. And now, look at that. So, we've got a bit more of an outer glow here, which is, of course, blue. Again, you're going to want to change this to a blue of some description. And then just start messing around with things. Increase the noise. Don't really like increasing the noise. You can bring the opacity up a bit. So if the opacity is at 100%, it's very visible. Uh, and that's really going to give them an outline. If you bring it down, it's sort of a bit more of a of a faded look. Uh, the force goes to kind of a bit in between. Uh, you want the spread to be, I don't know, mine's around 5%. Again, this is all down to you. You can play with it. You can have fun with it. That's, that's pretty much us done. That's you. Force Ghost. Here it is in our images. Lovely. Yeah, there you go. That's how you make a force ghost on uh, May the 4th. Do this with your friends. Do it with your family. Do it with your pets. Do it with your enemies. Um, yeah, really hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to do more of this kind of stuff. Because uh, I feel like I can teach now. I can't do anything at the minute. And those that cannot do... Those that can't do, teach. And those that can't teach, teach, teach gym. gym. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, let's try and get two likes on this video. That'd be great. Uh, take care, everyone. Bye-bye. We'll see you soon.